Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the complete step-by-step -step guide on how to order prescription, either glasses or sunglasses through the Zenny application. So if you don't already have the Zenny app and you're on an Android device, you can search for it, download it, install it through the Google Play Store. If you're on an Apple device, you're going to get it through the App Store. When ordering through Zenny, you can use my friend referral link down in the description to save during the purchase process. But what we're going to do is launch the Zenny application. And then from here, I recommend creating an account so that you can save your prescription details so that they're always there every time you order a pair of glasses or sunglasses. So to do this from the homepage of the Zenny app, we're gonna click on the account option here in the bottom right hand corner. And then from there, we're gonna click on where it says either sign in or sign up. You can sign in and create an account simply by linking it through an Apple account, or you can also do this with a Google account, or an additional option you can have is just creating an account directly through Zenny. For me, I'm going to do this with my Google account, so I'm going to select that option. Once we're logged in to our account, what I'm going to do is down here at the bottom, click on where it says categories. And then for me, in this example, I'm going to be purchasing eyeglasses, so I'm going to select the eyeglasses option. We have some different filter options for the frames here at the top, but I want to go in and do some specific filtering for the types of frames that are going to show up. So I'm going to click on this little menu filter option here in the upper right hand corner. And for me, in terms of the size of the frame that I'm looking for, I'm in the medium to large range. I measured the width of the current frames that I have, and it's kind of in that lower large to upper medium range in terms of what is going to fit me. So I'm going to select those two options in terms of my pupillary distance. And this is going to be the distance between the center of the pupil of both of your eyes. I'm at one number and it's about 61 millimeters. If you need to find your pupillary distance, you can click right here where it says find your size. And then through the app, you can go through a measuring process to get a number for this. And continuing to scroll down, I'm not going to be too picky on the rest of these different measurements because I'm already filtering by medium and large size frames, which is in general going to get me a variety variety of frames that are going to fit my face fairly well, but I also want to filter by the style of the frame. So I like rectangle style glasses, so I'm going to filter by that option. And then I'm also going to filter by my gender and then also color. I'm looking for clear frames, so I'm going to select the clear option. So with going through all of these different filters, I'm now down to just 13 different glasses to take a look at. So I'm going to click on this to take me back over to this page and see what options that I have. So I'm going to go through and take a look at these and decide which ones that I want to go with. And scrolling towards the bottom, I like these ones, so I'm going to select those frames. I can look at different options here, but then I can also scroll down and see all the different sizing information. So I have the frames that I want. Now I'm going to go down and click on where it says select lenses. And I don't need bifocals or progressive lenses. My lenses are just single vision, so I'm going to click on that option. And I'm going to enter in my eye prescription by clicking here where it says new customer or new prescription. So I'm going to click on that. And I got this particular information from my eye doctor. So I'm going to enter in my prescription manually. And for my right eye, I'm at minus 5.25. And then my left eye, I'm at minus 4.50. And I don't have any additional numbers after that. And don't forget to enter your pupillary distance up here. So mine measured at about 61 millimeters. And then I'm going to submit these numbers. And then it will ask you to confirm your prescription. This looks good to me. So I'm going to click on where it says confirm. And I'm going to save this prescription to my account. So it's always there and ready to be used whenever I'm ordering frame. So I'm going to enter that information in here. So the date is today's date. I don't need a prescription reminder. So I'm going to do no thanks. And then I'm going to click where it says save prescription. Then we have some different options in terms of what types of lenses are available. And I think I'm just going to go with the regular lenses that are perfect for everyday use. So I'm going to select that option. And the clear lenses have a couple of different options, whether you want to get the blocks option added to it, which are virtually clear lenses, and they're going to block blue light and UV rays protecting the eyes all day. Or you can get general use, which are going to be clear lenses, and they're going to be perfect for everyday use. And for me, I want to try out these blocks lenses, so I'm going to select that option. And then they're going to give you a recommendation of what types of lens to get based on your prescription information. So I'm going to select their recommendation here. And I really don't like getting fingerprints on my lenses, so I'm going to try out this option here that's fingerprint, water resistant, and it's going to reduce light reflections, so I'm going to select that. There's some additional add-ons here that I'm not interested in, so I'm going to skip over that, and then I'm going to add these frames and lenses to my cart by clicking here where it says add to cart. That's going to bring us to this last page where we can review the frames that we have, the total cost in terms of the lenses that we've added to these frames, the different add-ons that we had. And if everything looks good, we can confirm and click where it says add to cart. At this point, 
if I'm done, I can click check out. If I'd like to add additional lenses or maybe I want to get some sunglasses or some other options, I can go back to categories and add additional options into my shopping cart before placing the order. But I'm good with just this one pair of glasses. So I'm going to go ahead and click check out. Enter in your personal information for the shipping address and then click save. After that, we can select a delivery method and then continuing to scroll down. Then you can select a payment method. You can enter in a credit card by clicking here where it says add new for adding new credit card information. You can go through PayPal. You can go through Google Pay or Affirm. I'm going to go through PayPal, so selecting that option. And also, if I continue to scroll down here to the bottom, you can see that I'm getting $15 off, and that's because I went through a friend referral link. Be sure if you're going to place an order through Zenny to use my friend referral link down in the description so you can get a discount yourself when placing an order. So everything looks good here. So I'm going to click on where it says place order, and since I selected PayPal, it should take me over to the PayPal checkout process. And after entering in my PayPal information and submitting that, it takes us to this final page here where it shows me that my order has been submitted. And from here, I can click complete at the bottom. If you'd ever like to check on the status of your Zenny order from the homepage of the Zenny app, we can go here towards the bottom and click on where it says account. And then from here under order management, I can click on where it says my orders. And I can check my order status from there. So I hope this tutorial was helpful going through the step-by-step -step process on how to complete an order through the Zenny app to get lenses and frames and also how you can get a discount by going through my friend referral link down in the description. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by and consider subscribing for more content in the future.